Algebra 1 12.5b, Direct Variation Word Problems. Now, if you haven't seen video 12.5a yet, you really need to watch that one first so you don't get confused. And there's a link in this video's description so you can just click on it, okay? Make it easy for you. So y equals kx is an equation that represents direct variation. That k is the constant of variation. It's the constant value that doesn't change. And the x and y are going to change. It can also be written as a function, the function of x equals kx. And to solve a word problem involving direct variation, we set up our equation y equals kx and substitute to find k. Once we've found that value for k, that constant value, we can use the equation to find y for any value of x. So if x is a 1 and k is 10, then y is 10. If x is a 2 and k is 10, then y is 20. So see how they're proportional and they're directly related? See? So let's look at this little problem here, this little word problem. Bob consumed 1,320 calories by eating 10 brownies. And Dave ate 2 brownies. So how many calories did Dave have? So what we do is we take Bob's information and use it to help solve Dave's. If he consumed 1,320 calories by eating 10 brownies, then all we have to do is, to find this k, is to divide the y value by the x value. 1,320 divided by 10 is 132. So now we know that one brownie is 132 calories. And if Dave ate two of them, we multiply 132 times 2, and we know Dave's calories are 264 calories. And at constant of variation, k is 132. So see how we used this one to find that one? All right. So the cost of electricity used by a light bulb varies directly as the time the bulb is on. If three hours of use costs seven cents, how much will it cost for 11 hours of use? So we're going to let C equal the cost in cents of electricity, and we're going to let H be the hours the bulb is on. So our equation of direct variation, instead of y equals kx, we're going to have c equals kh. We can plug in the values, the 7 cents for the y place and the 3 for the x place, or for the c and the h, and this is our equation of variation. And we can solve this by putting the y value, the c value, 7, on top of this x value, which is now an h. See that? And we put it k equals 7 over 3. So we put this one on top of that one. We end up with the cost of the light bulb being on is 7 thirds hours. We could also write it as the function of x equals 7, -third, 7 thirds x. So now we can substitute eight, the 11 in for that h and instead of the 3. And so we do our multiplication. 7 thirds times 11 is 7 thirds times 11 over 1. And we get 77 over 3. A little division problem, right? That's what fractions are. So let's divide 77 by 3. We get 25.6. And this 6 repeats. I could keep dropping down zeros. And it's still going to be a 2 thirds, 2 thirds, 2 thirds. So it's going to be a 6 repeated. So I'm just going to round it off and use an approximation symbol. And the 6 is going to make it round up to 26 cents. So the cost for the 11 hours is approximately 26 cents. See? 26 is approximately 7 thirds times 11. All right? How about this one? The weight of an object on Mars, M, varies directly as its weight on Earth, E. A person who weighs 115 pounds on Earth weighs 44 pounds on Mars. So my dog Lola weighs 15 pounds. How much would she weigh on Mars? So we're going to use the information from this part of the word problem to help us solve Lola's part. So we've got Mars equals that constant value times the E. And that's going to take the place of the Y equals KX. See? We're just going to plug in our information. So if the Earth one is 115, that's going to come back here, and the Mars one, the 44, is going to be up here. Is the Y value, the M, right? 
So to solve this, we can just put the 44 on top of the 115 to do division, because that's the opposite of multiplication, right? This is multiplication. It's almost as if this said k times 2 equaled 6. Well, what times 2 equals 6? We could just do 6 over 2 and get 3, couldn't we? So that's pretty much what we're doing here, okay? We're just putting this one on top of this one, doing the division, and finding out what the uh, amount for k is, all right? So we're going to divide 44 by 115, so we're going to have to add a decimal point and some zeros, and I came up with 0.382, but it kept going. I could drop down another zero and see how many times 115 goes into 700. I could keep going, but I'm just going to round it to a couple place values. So I'm going to say that the k is approximately 0.38. So our equation of direct variation ends up becoming m is approximately 0.38 times 15 because Lola weighs 15 pounds on Earth, okay? So we do our multiplication, 0.38 times 15. We get 0.5, we get 5.7. See, there's two hops in the equation, so there's two hops in the product. So we get 5.7. So Lola would be approximately 5.7 pounds on Mars, all right? So here's the difference. These don't vary directly, and these vary directly. The ones that don't vary directly have two variables. The ones that vary directly have the three variables, the y, the k, the x, see? So if we were to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, that's just two things. That's Fahrenheit to Celsius. So that doesn't vary directly. But if we were to say the total rise in temperature as a constant rise over hours, then we would have three variables. We would have the total rise in temperature as the y value, the constant rise, like maybe it's rising two degrees every hour. So that would be the k part, the c here for constant. And the hours would be the time, see? So that would be the third variable. If I said price per pound of peanuts, if peanuts were $2 a pound and I bought four pounds, it's not saying what to do with that amount. It doesn't say what's the total. It just says the price of the peanuts and the number of pounds. So that's just two variables. It doesn't say what is the total cost of peanuts at $2 you see what I'm saying? It's just saying the peanuts are this much and this is how many pounds. So we've only got two variables here. But if it said what is the cost for price per pound of peanuts at X number of pounds, now we've got the cost and the price per pounds and the number of pounds. See? So now we've got three variables. If they just add, added total cost onto here, then we would have had a third variable. But we don't. Okay? So I know it's confusing. But this will make sense if you just stop and think about it for a second, because these have two variables and these have three, okay? All right, our next video is going to be 12.6a. We're going to talk about inverse variation. We're actually going to spin this around, okay? We're going to spin this equation around that y equals kx, all right? And, of course, any of the other videos that are similar or the previous videos, helpful videos, are going to be in this video's description. So you can just click on them real quick and look through the list and see which ones might help you out. All right? Each video I make is built and based on the previous one. So if you're confused, that means you missed something. All right? And you don't want to miss something because then you can get behind. All right? It's like, it's like going up a flight of stairs. We can't skip steps in math, okay? We have to touch each step, all right? I'll see you. Bye.